hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Freitas time. Zoe's here to say hi. <laughs> say hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. <laughs> hi. You being sweet? Hmm? You probably want to go for a walk after the video. Okay. I'm going to read about ladybugs. All right. Rawr. <laughs> okay, go sit down. Go sit down. All right. <laughs> Well, I sure hope you had a nice spring break. I know that this is a very different time, but hey, stay positive, stay happy, uh, keep enjoying your family's company because that's very important. And you guys can get a lot of wonderful moments out of family time at your house, which you love very much. So um, just stay positive for me and this will be over one day. We don't know when, but it'll be over when, when it finally... That coronavirus finally goes away. So let's go ahead and enjoy a good book in the meantime, okay? This is a testable book about ladybugs. A Ladybug Larva Grows Up by Katie Marcico. And I even have the number. It's uh, number 115292. And I'll make sure that I put it um, uh, on, on the YouTube um cover page, okay? All right, so let's learn about a ladybug today. A science in a book. Ooh, there's the table of contents. Tells me all the different things I can look up, and look, it's a word hunt. Maybe if I go this way, it won't be so bad when it comes to uh, having a glare. There we go. Here's the adult ladybug, aphids, hatching, insects, larva, molting, and a pupa. I like big words like that, pupa. Ladybug larva, what is a ladybug larva? A larva is a baby ladybug. Ladybugs are insects. Insects have six legs and two feelers. Many insects have wings. All baby insects are called larvae. Look at that. Six legs, and two feelers. All right. First, a mother ladybug lays her eggs. She usually lays them on the bottom side of a leaf. The yellow eggs are sticky. This holds them in place on the leaf. A mother ladybug lays hundreds of eggs. How many boys and girls? Hundreds of eggs. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, so I'll just read and then I'll show you the pictures. After about five days, the eggs on the leaf begin hatching. Five days. Out come the larva, or larvae. I've heard it called both. A ladybug larva has six legs and no wings. The babies are hungry. They soon begin eating tiny insects called aphids. So this says hatching ladybug larvae right there. And then a ladybug larvae eats an aphid. And the aphid is that orange thing there. Isn't that interesting? And aphids love eating rose bushes. <laughs> so I love the ladybugs because they help me keep my roses in good order and healthy. The ladybug babies begin to shed their skin as they grow. This is called molting. Can you say molting? So that's when they grow and they have to shed their skin. After about 10 to 14 days, a larvae or larva hatches to, oh no, larva for sure. A larva hatches to a plant or twig. It stays very still. This is the picture. And it says, a ladybug larva usually molts three or four times. A ladybug babies. Oh, the ladybug babies begin to shed their skin as they grow. And this is called molting. Three or four times. That's like becoming a little kid 
and then getting a little older and then when you go to middle school you change so I think we go through some phases too but good thing we don't shed our skin suddenly the larvae skin seems to split open out comes a ladybug pupa a ladybug pupa has a hard shell and does not move much. The ladybug is getting closer and closer to being a grown-up. Whew. A lot of changes. A ladybug pupa attaches itself to a plant to finish growing. That's what that picture is of. Poor little guy's gone through a lot. What's going on inside a pupa's shell? The ladybug is changing. <coughs> It is beginning to look less like a larva and more like an adult. After about five days, a pupa's shell splits open. Out comes an adult ladybug. Like that. That's an adult. An adult ladybug comes out of its pupa shell. This is how it looks at first. Wow. You can't see the ladybug spots at first. They become clearer over time. Soon the new adults will lay eggs on their own. See, different kinds of ladybugs have different numbers of spots. So cool. It never gets old learning about ladybugs. A ladybug larva grows up. So here it comes. A mother ladybug lays her eggs on the bottom of a leaf. Number two, the ladybug larva hatches from ha, no, the ladybug larvae hatch from their eggs in about five days. The larvae are hungry. They gobble up orphids on the leaf. Aphids. Aphids. Sorry, I said that wrong. Number four, a ladybug larva molts or sheds its skin three or four times. Number five, after about 10 to 14 days, a larva splits its skin. Out comes a pupa. Right there. And number six, in about five more days, a pupa's shell splits. The ladybug is all grown up but we have to wait for the spots to come. It's like a little life cycle. A life cycle! Ladybug life cycle. So then we have your new words, an adult, aphids, hatching, insects, larva. See larva, and it doesn't have larvae on there. These animals are insects too. Bees, butterfly, cricket, dragonfly, and that's it. And the back of the book has an index because there's a lot of scientific words that you can go back and look up. So the way an index works is if, say, you want to see larvae right there, there's all these pages. 6, page 10, page 12, page 14, page 20. And if you want to hear about molting, you go to page 12 and 21. So let's go to 12. Here's the molting page. So that's how that works. And here's page 21 with more molting. Just being stated one more time in the life cycle. So I love having an index when I have a bigger book especially and I want to learn something specific. It's very helpful. Oh well, look, it even has a website on the back. www.ladybuglady.com <laughs> That's cute. Okay, and here's the number to the bug book. 115292. So you can take a test on Accelerated Reader and Renaissance Place. And again, the author was Katie Marcico. Thank you, Katie Marcico. All right, boys and girls. So let's see here. Staying positive learning something new. When you are challenging your mind, it keeps you so happy. It keeps you very, very willing to grow. And that's what we're doing. Just like ladybugs, we're growing every day. 
all right? Continue to be great for your parents. Have manners, you know? Practice the five B's at home. Uh, let's see if I can remember them. Be safe, be responsible, re be respectful, be on task, and be kind. How did I do? That's what we believe in at Theodore Judah. And I'm a teacher there, so it just looks a little different. I'm teaching from home, and that's okay. So you're going to learn from home. Do great things. Go ahead and make sure you go to Schoology and check out the new links that I made for you. And just know that I'm thinking about you. I'm hoping that our Zoom meeting goes better tomorrow. And um, I just, I miss you. Air hugs. I hope you come and listen to all these books on the YouTube channel. Miss Freitas Times, call in your name every day. I'm going to read a book every day. Have a great day, boys and girls. Enjoy Ladybugs and learning with me. Bye-bye.